Hey everyone, how are you? This is my second attempt at this. Um, I'm gonna jump right in. I'll show you my mug in a minute, but I'm gonna jump right in. Um, it took me a minute to sort out the channel that's coming. Hi, I'm Holly, I'm a psychic medium. Welcome to the channel. All right, um, so there is a collective of spirits here, high energy very intense collective of spirits who are speaking with a single voice as they do have a message. Okay, so I'm just going to jump right into it. In the coming days, you're going to learn the truth of a situation. You're going to find the answers you seek. There's more to the situation than you, un than you, than what you understand or know. Make peace with where you are and who you are. All things will unfold as they need to unfold. When the time comes, there may be some upheaval, but it will not. And we are speaking in the personal. We are speaking in the personal aspects of what is your life in this incarnation. What may feel like What may feel like we choose not to utilize the word chaos, but she does. She does want to use the word chaos because it will feel like a shift and a change in your life. However, it is not chaos. It is not. It is brief. It is a new learning and understanding. It is a new piece of knowledge that you will acquire that will help you to see clearly there will be a shift in those around you, in your core group and structure of those that you trust and those that you believe in, in the human realm. Be the powerful being that you are. Do not cover, shield, or hide all that you are, all the brilliance of your light, all that you have worked so hard to come to in this point in your life on this earth. You are getting ready and about to make grand changes. We see some of you, and this frightens you, but do not worry. It is not for all. There will be sweeping changes. For some, it will be within the personal realm. There are some of you that will go through the internal process of understanding who you are, possibly for the first time in your life. And you will need to wrap yourself in the blanket of your security and your sanctuary and what you see as your home and all that you hold dear. And that will provide healing and comfort as you grow within yourself and grow within the knowledge of who you really are. Do not let this frighten you. It is all for the greater and highest good. You will emerge so much stronger. You are beautiful now, but you will be able to unfurl your wings and fly. Hear that. Nothing will keep you in a place that you choose not to be. Understand who you are. She asks for time. In your 
understanding and in your brief existence. This will happen very soon. She pushes for more. She pushes for more. Three, zero, 30 days. 30 days. Your life will shift and blossom. Okay, um, that's not going to be for everyone. There will be some of you who are going through a shift. Some of you who are going through a total change in understanding of who you are, where you live, what you do. I, the, the clearest thing in my head right now was seeing the number 30 because I did. I kept pushing. I'm like, hey, we, we need a timeline, you know, we need a timeline because spirit doesn't work with time. We do. And so, yes, I kept pushing for that, which they always find funny. Um, not laughing at, but just amused, you know, all that sweet, um, impatient little people. Um, Let's see, whatever today is, I'm gonna say a little more than 30 days because I think she said she, huh? It felt feminine to me. Interesting, okay. Um, by April, by, by the middle of April, about now, so yeah, about 30 days, but I'm getting the 15th, so I don't know what day that falls on. Um, not on that day, okay? So, um, some old snarky comments, if you don't mind, please, because, you know, there's more than one person watching this. Um, within a month, for many of us, a lot will change. And I'm getting that it could just be clarity of direction that's like, I get it now. I know what it is that I want. Ooh, for a whole lot of people, that's what it's going to be. So it's going to be, I actually know what I want now. I know what I want to do, and I know how to go about doing it. So that is huge. I mean, you can't deal with something if you don't know. I'm sorry, I guess Maggie moved. Um, okay, so... Yeah, the back of my hair is probably all matted down or whatever. But um, if you don't know what you want, it's hard to move forward with a plan or even to try to manifest because you don't know what you want. So for some, I need to break this down because I have a, a very, uh, a, 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 you know, human existence here in human mind. So. For some of you, that message is going to be, you're going to fully get that aha moment of, wow, I get it now. I know who I am and what I want. For some of you, it's going to be more of the action stage where it's like, oh, really? And you're going to completely shift and change your life and potentially move, potentially take a new job. There's a lot of options within that. And there are some of you who are going to just get the answers you need but it does feel like a shakeup. It feels like a shakeup and a change. Um, and change can be scary, so that's why I felt like, oh my gosh, things are just gonna be like throwing up balls in the air and seeing where they land, you know? But what they were, co what they were communicating and what I felt was that it's going to be so short-lived 
you might have a moment of you have got to be kidding me and then or oh my gosh why have I been sitting around this whole time or whatever it is but when you get that aha moment you're going to have such a sense of the word is resolve that I'm hearing so you're going to have such a sense of resolve purpose and direction that it's going to be like okay I know exactly what I need to do Oh, and there was something about the cocooning there for some of you. So for some of you, it's going to be an internal journey. And for some of you, it's going to be an external journey. For the internal folks, it's going to be coming into alignment with your life and finding your peace. Because maybe peace has been eluding you for a while. Okay. Wow. Wow. A lot of information the the dominant message I I feel what I feel is that we may be on a roller coaster for the next month so hold on to the rails or hold on to the seat not the rails you lose your hands uh, but you know hold on to hold on to the handles or hold on to the bars on the seat on the roller coaster, but you are secure and locked in and safe. So just go for the ride. Just go along for the ride, and you'll have a whole new perspective once you get down to the other side of it. You're not coming back around. So maybe that wasn't the... <laughs> best example because on a roller coaster you always come right back where you start but it's just just go for it go along with it go with the flow and in the course of all those ups and downs you are going to come to an awareness all right thank you spirit it was a little cryptic still though um whoo so today I picked out just be, be in the flow, I guess. And this is a picture I took when I was on vacation. Um, I went to the, I went to see the ocean and I loved this picture so much. It was a cloud in the sky and I thought, you gotta be kidding me. And uh, so I took a picture and I had it put on a mug and um, Every morning it was one of the best trips I can remember because it was just, it was a quiet trip. There wasn't a bunch of raucous activity, but every single morning before the sun would come up, I would go to the beach and stand and watch the sunrise. And I would, I felt so connected. I felt so connected to all that is. I felt so connected to spirit. And I received messages that to this day center and ground All right, so let's get into let let's let's try to get into some messages, okay? Mm. And let's find an animal ally to go with this through the day. What is what is one of our animal allies that wants to work with this today to help us, or even for the next thirty days with this transition we're going through, or whatever's going on? And it's the Colette Baron Reed. Spirit, animal, pocket, oracle. Yay! So what animal allies want to come through and work with members of the collective? And I'm sure there will be a couple that will come out, so one may resonate with you more than, than another. And thank you for your comments with the last time, especially the last time um, we used this deck. It was so much fun. Um, just the, the things that people resonated with. So, all right. Animal allies that want to work with this or the energy of that particular group of animals that wants to work with the collective. Today or over the next 30 days help us in this transitionary period. It is a period of transition. 
Okay, this one's definitely coming out. All right, so we always get a bunch of these. All right, and that was the first one, then this one, then this one. Okay, so we got some repeats. We have similar animals that like to come out. And when I say animals, that could be, you know, of any kingdom. So it could be bird or whatever. Um, this one fell out at the last minute, but it fell out in a significant way, so I'm going to keep it. All right. All right. Um, ant spirit. Time to collaborate. See, I think of ants, and it's got the puzzle pieces. Um, I think of an ant as just being incredibly strong and a worker. They can carry, well, I forgot how much it like, I don't remember exactly. It was something like 10 times their body weight, and they're just constantly going, going, going. Now, they do form colonies, and they do come together, so that's important. Maybe find your, your structure, your peace, or even just finding your community with spirit. But to me, when I see an ant, it um, denotes strength for me. And it's card number one. Um, it denotes strength and um, being willing to put in the work. All right, next, wolf spirit. Turn knowledge into wisdom. And wolf is just fantastic protector. So you're going to be protected in the work is what I'm getting. So for some of you, call on Ant Spirit if you've got a lot to do and you need motivation and strength to do it. For others, call on Wolf Spirit. And also with Ant, um, safety in numbers and the job is easier when you have more people working on it. So if you need to get, I'm hearing something about a prayer list. If you are a prayer chain or a, a circle of people that come together to build each other up. It could be a women's circle, a meditation circle, a book club, whatever it is. But call on your people. Call on your people to lift you up. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. And this is a doe. It's okay to be quiet sometimes. And it's okay to let your sensitivities reach out ahead of you and tell you what's coming. That sounds important. Hawk spirit, let spirit be your guide. These are impressive. All the big birds like this are impressive birds because when you see them up close with the wingspan, I mean, they're always so high in the air when we see them. If you see one down at eye level with the wingspan out, they're um, well with their wings out, you know, completely extended the total span. It's intimidating. It's beautiful. And you realize how powerful they really are. It's, it's striking. It is, it is truly striking. Um, all right. <laughs> and then we have our little bat spirit. Rebirth is assured. Now bats are on the totally opposite end of that little tiny things. People are terrified of bats. But bats have that super crazy, insanely amazing vibrational hearing where they can hear a vibration. And they see in the dark. They are the ones that see in the dark. I just think bats are amazing. Now, they scare me too, truth be told. Yeah. But they are absolutely incredible. And I think they are messengers, too. So that's that's pretty intense and, and interesting. Uh, don't be what I'm hearing about that is don't be afraid to take the, the path less taken the road less the road less taken. Oh, that's the uh, Robert Frost. The Robert Frost poem. Don't be afraid to take the road. Less traveled, less traveled. Two roads diverged. Blah, blah, blah. OK, if you're not sure, it's the it's a famous poem by Robert Frost, but I'm hearing don't be afraid. Well, that's kind of where it goes. But the ultimate message is don't be afraid to walk your own path and don't be afraid to take the road that most other people maybe are afraid to walk. All right. And then the one at the very end that was like, no, I'm coming out too. Don't forget me. All right. Snake spirit. Time to heal. 
And this is a cobra. I had a meditation one time and I saw a big cobra and I kept hearing the incantation, Ma Umbra, Ma Umbra. I have no idea what that means. If any of you know, let me know. It was God 30 years ago. But snake spirit is, um, I was always told that snakes, snakes are often viewed as, especially in the spirit realm, maybe, you know, not one you see in your yard, it's just trying to survive. But, um, you know, they shed a skin, they renew, they heal, they regenerate, but also they are spirit carriers. And I've had lots of meditations about and um, seen a lot of snake imagery in a lot of my meditations. So um, they usually are indicative of also change. So, okay. Hmm. All right, now I feel the need to move on so there were a few more messages that came with those cards this time. Change, change, change. Thank you, Aretha Franklin. Change, change, change. All right. And we are now going to look at the, the Lima Lenormand. Bom, bom, bom. This is kind of a big deck, but it's there are not a lot of cards. So it makes it easier to shuffle, and they're thin enough to shuffle. This one's coming right out. What is it? Fox. More animals. Uh, fox spirit. Think on your feet. Think on your feet. Pay attention. Don't ignore signs and symbols. Don't ignore what's staring you right in the face. Okay. What I'm hearing is that uh, that old phrase about... Uh, trust is earned. If someone gives you a reason not to trust them, then don't. I've always been of the mindset that, well, unless someone gives me a reason not to, I'll trust them until I get until they give me a reason not to. But I'm hearing right now, that's that's great, that's fine, that's a wonderful way to live. But trust must also be earned. And I've never really functioned that way. It's always benefit of the doubt. This one came up. And I was just talking about the ocean. Okay. Card number three. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's movement happening. Big time movement. I almost can feel like the waves of being on a ship. So where is this coming from? Spirit, what's going on? Be ready for change. Be ready for change. Be ready for change. Flow with it. Just roll with the flow with it. When you try so hard to remain in one spot, but you're on a ship, that's when the queasiness and the seasickness, it's like just allow yourself to move with the flow of it. Okay. I know that sounds weird and I'm swaying back and forth, but <laughs> whatever happens, someone needs to hear this because it could be a literal thing. Whatever happens, Remember just to be part of the flow and the movement and you'll come out okay. That's a message for someone. A very specific message for someone. All right. It's when you fight the current that you get bruised and banged up. Okay? All right. Okay, and they're telling me to tell the story. So, uh, my mom has been gone for a little bit now, and and don't worry, she was, I mean, it, I hadn't talked to her for 30 years before that. Um, it, as it turns out, in death and with mediumship, you can talk to people and make amends with it now, but um, she, she was a very damaged human being. Um, 
she was just straight up messed up. Okay, so I'm with all love, you know. But uh, in death, she's actually quite a fantastic mom. She's been coming around and talking to me. So anyway, but I know that sounds weird. So the story about rolling with it. Um, they want me to tell this story because when, cause she, she would, had huge abilities. Um, but anyway, so when I was a teenager, she was in a car wreck. And it was just a, a slick road from rain. It was dark. It was a tiny little car and she lost control of it and it flipped over into a ditch. And when it started to roll and flip, I mean, it rolled and landed upside down in a ditch. And when she realized what was gonna happen, she started to tense up and she very clearly and audibly outside of herself heard a voice say, relax and roll with the car. Relax and let yourself relax, roll with it. And so she went limp and she just rolled with however the car moved and then when it stopped and it was upside down she managed to crawl out went somewhere got called you know for help and for someone to come tow the car out and the police got there and they said ma'am don't go to the car this could be bad they expected to find a body in there she's like no it's okay i'm fine she didn't even have a scratch she she may have had a bruise you know but nothing no broken bones nothing and they didn't believe her until they went down and realized there was no one in the car. They thought maybe she had hit her head and was delusional or something anyway. So um, it, it was crumpled. So that is an important story for someone to hear. If you are in a situation, just whether it's emotional or physical, roll with it instead of fighting it, okay? Man, I don't know why that's so important, but it is. All right. Um, and no, I'm not saying anyone's going to be in a car wreck or anything like that. But I'm just saying, whatever the situation is, be flexible is the, is the word. Flexibility. Be flexible. Is there anything else we need from this? Okay, on the bottom of the deck, there's a man, kind of dapper. On the top, there's a heart with a rose in it. And in the middle, this is how they asked me to, because I kept shuffling, nothing popped out. So this is what they wanted me to do. Look at the bottom, look at the top, look in the middle. This is a letter. So someone is going to get a letter from a male energy or some, or it could just signify that someone is going to take the dominant role and uh, reach out to you. You don't have to reach out to them. So someone could come through with a message or a message of emotions or I mean it could be a parent a child a long lost sibling you didn't know you have whatever but someone could come through with it could be romance it could be whatever but someone will come through with a message okay of some kind that's related to issues of the heart okay all right well huh Man, I knew it was going to be an interesting week. Yesterday, I was just in a weird mood all day and then, and kind of disjointed. Today, feel, not feeling great. My stomach's a little off. I think it was something I ate last night. You know, it, it, when you just feel a little nauseous, you know. And then, um, nothing bad. It'll pass. And then, um, yeah, this week, this week is. This week is an interesting one. So whatever's going on, I guess we just need to go limp and roll with it. That's the message. Now, I feel like we need to come back to our light series. Oh, back, because I was looking at this earlier, not during this video, but when I was settling and getting myself centered. All right. Yeah. Something's coming in. All right, so the Light Seer's Tarot. Last message for this morning for the collective, please. What is the message? What do we need to be, because we got stuff coming. We know we got things in the next 30 days rolling toward us or either internal or externally, but we're going to change at a core level or things around us will change or something's going on. So what exactly 
do we need to know? What exactly do we need to know to help us today? Because we got to focus on one day at a time, right? So what is the message for today? What is the message for today for the collective that we need to focus on one more time? Okay. Someone's getting ready to go on a trip. All right. All right, let's see. What is the message for today? Life-changing trip. Someone's going on a life-changing trip. All right. This is kind of a lot, y'all. All right, these, these popped up. So that, that, and then these. Interesting. Okay, well, this kind of goes along with what, what just happened earlier? Oh, come on. I'm having troubles. There we go. No, I'm not. We're good now. All right. We're going to start out with the Hermit. The Eight of Swords. The Hanged Man. The Seven of Pentacles. And ending with the star. Okay. Interesting. Beginnings and endings. I feel like there's going to be a lot of internal work going on. And a lot of internal processes. 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 Um, all right, spirit, take over, please. When in doubt, always look to the light within and your source and your connection to source within. When in doubt or you're not sure what to do or what direction to take, stop, focus, be the hermit. Stop, focus, remember you hold this light within you. Do your, oh, I'm, they're also reminding me, do the energy retrieval. Get that energy back that's kind of drifted away from you. So pull your energy back sit with it hold it you can even roll like a little ball of light in your hands and then push it into your chest and understand that this is your connection to the divine all the answers are in that space and don't let yourself be surrounded by fear of the unknown or fear of what if you know it's like what if doesn't matter what matters is is what what you know for 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 what is true for you right now in this moment is the is the real world for you if there's constantly a sense of well but what if then you may change your life in a way that you're living based on fear rather than your reality so please hear that don't live based on fear live your life in the truth of where you are The hanged man, it's all about perspective. But understand, you have the power. And what I'm hearing about this is don't victimize yourself. Don't be the victim <clears throat> in your own life. Understand that it is up to you to change. This is the internal, that internal shift. You can change your mindset from being a victim in your life to saying, well, screw that. Be in charge of yourself. Don't give anyone else that power. Um, Seven of Pentacles. And again, this is a general reading. Please understand this is a, please understand this is a general reading. And you have free will. You can, whatever. Uh, Seven of Pentacles. You're watching something. You're nurturing something and watching it grow. And then the star. Remember your connection to your higher self and the divine ask for guidance ask for assistance do an energy retrieval and then ask spirit show me the doors and i will walk through them show me the doors that will lead to all that is in the best interest of me and those around me 
show me how to be of service to you, show me how to be healed and whole and happy in my own life, guide me to the places and the people and the communities and the home and wherever it is that I I belong and I need to be. Well, you belong. I belong wherever I am, wherever I am. But Mother and Father God, show me the doors and I will walk through them. Thank you. All right, I think that's it. Wow. So today, yesterday, and then today, yeah. Get ready, people. All right. And my little light just, I guess, needs a charge. All right. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. All right. Go enjoy your day and your life in whatever form that takes because it will be different for each and every one of us. Thank you. Bye.